Hello my friends, how are you? So I've finished building the Das Work 75mm anti-tank gun. It's awesome. And I've put a top coat on it and I've started sort of, you know, putting a little bit of rubber black on it. That's Tamiya's rubber black. It looks really nice, doesn't it? So I've finished another day's work. It's Australia's, or Melbourne. I live in Melbourne, so it's our first really hot day, so I'm a bit buggered. But um, can get back into the modelling now, so I'm pretty excited that I'm home and I can do this. So I haven't done any of the detailing or anything like that. I've just started to do some of the, you know, the wheels. That's about it. But I'm going to go with the Dunkel Gelb. I rarely do that, and I think that'll look cool. And we'll make it look really nasty and nice. Also, I've been working on the accessories. So you get two wooden boxes. You get those um, ammo cases. Um, you get a couple more over here, but I'm just going to paint them green. Um, you get eight rounds of ammunition, two different types. Now you can see the difference between the pack and the KWK ammunition. So this is the uh, for the Stug or the Panzer IV. They're L48 75 millimeter, and that's the pack ammunition. Now you can see, you know, it's not vastly different, and this is quite a lot more charge in it. But you can see how that tapers out, so it's a bit thicker. So a bit more charge would go in there. So if you squash that out, that would you know go up a little bit. But they they did put a lot of um, charge in the pack ammunition, didn't they? So that's the pack and that's the KWK and they put, I've got to redo this, but they put the pack on the martyr. So I don't know if you can see, but he's got the pack ammo. And it's weird. I'm just trying to work out ammunition and all that kind of stuff. Modeling is really great. You learn heaps about this stuff, but yeah, it's not easy. Um, so yeah, that's that's how it's called, coming along, it's really cool. So I ordered the Border Models um, Stug, their interior version, they finally released that. So that should be here in a couple of weeks, which would be really cool, I'm really looking forward to that. I've been working on the T-54, both of them, and there's some really nice stuff going on with these. I've been getting the tracks done. The underneath parts. So just sort of getting that sorted out. Same with this one. Just sort of doing the tracks there. And once that's finished up, then I'll continue doing the work around here. Hopefully they'll look really cool, but um, I'm really liking this turret at the moment. It's starting to come up really good. So there's a recondition I'm doing on it. So that'll be great. Nice little collection of T-54s. But yeah, I'm really happy with this pack. So I've got um, a bit of Cannon Fever. I might make the Dragon 88mm. Now I've got that just down here. So that'll be a really cool build. So I might do that, but um, I've just got these I'm working on, so I'll just slowly work away at these. And then I might pull out the, get this, these two here sorted out, finished up. But everything in its time. It's really cool though, isn't it? So it comes apart. Lots of detail in there. The only other pack I've done is the Tamiya one. It was like the second kit I did a few years ago. And this just shits all over the Tamiya one. But the Tamiya one was like $8 and this is $50. And that's how it is. Alright my friends. Thanks for listening to me after work. I'll speak to you again soon.